stop the recording for this video. All right, guys, sorry, I stopped the recording. So this video is going to be in two parts, um, part one and part two. Um, for those of you that are watching this later, um, Lower Lies back, Paul's back. Eli is doing Eli thing. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna kind of um, finish here with our, our handouts. And then you're actually gonna give some homework this week. Oh, no. Yeah, those, that, that, was, that was the worst words that I could ever say. Huh? All right, so here's what I want you to do. What we're gonna do this next week, but I'll go ahead and hand, hand that out. Um, I have a little, um, Prayer and scripture journal. Can you take one and pass it down? All right. <laughs> I, mean, I think I'm making them cry here. Okay. Yeah, I know. Now, now you're crying out to God. God spare us. Okay. All right. Ah, Thank you. Thank you. Extra. All right. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, All right. so I am sharing with you, um, and it's it's the other handout that I emailed out. Um, this this scripture and prayer journal. So if you want to kind of fold it in half, um, this is is six days of reading a, a short passage and maybe picking a little part of it to meditate during during your day. Um, and so if you turn to inside, it says Wednesday on January 18th. And wait, that's today. Not Have you guys done your scripture and prayer journal yet for today? No, no let's no. do it now. All right, open up your Bibles to Matthew <laughs> chapter six. You guys are so delightful. Um, Matthew 6. I'm glad you love God so much that this is a joy for you. <laughs> that good guilt? No. And, and again, I really hope that you, you won't be doing this because you have to, but because you want. To. One, two, five, one. All right. Matthew 6. Well, well. Matthew 6, verses 5 to 21. Okay. This is a whole section on prayer. All right. Um, so kind of on your own, I'll, I'll read it. Are you anybody willing to read? Um, how about this? Let's make it shorter. Let's just do verses 5 to 15. Let's make it shorter. No, not to 21, 5 to 15. All right. Um, anybody willing to read those five to five to eight? All right. Maya. Thank you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask. All right. Can someone read verses 9 to 15? Emma, can you read those verses? Chapter 6, starting to verse 9. Pray them like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not to and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. All right. So what I want you to do is maybe pick one verse that kind of, for whatever reason, jumped out at you, All right? Not literally, ah, but, you know, as you read it, 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 it says, oh, 
I, I either I haven't I haven't read that before or I haven't thought about it that way. And what I would like you to do is is write one verse in in your journal. All right. So pick pick a verse and write that in your journal. Go ahead and do that right now. Other people can call the race. Or parents coming to pick you up. All right. After you write um, your verse in your journal, can you just write one sentence? Why why did you pick that verse? Say, I, I picked this verse because. All right, write that there, right underneath your verse. After you're done with that, um, take it just a little bit of time to incorporate that verse into a prayer. All right, so you're you're gonna pray that scripture. So so for me, I my, the verse I chose was "Our Father in Heaven, Hallowed Be Your Name." Uh, and I said I picked this verse because I like thinking about being a child of God, and so I just that's something I like. Um, and so for me, my my prayer, uh, thank you for being my my father. Um, help me to use your name in a way that pleases you. All right. So, so does that make sense? How to how to use that? Use that verse, and and write a prayer using either a word from that verse, um, or praising God, thanking Him for who He is. Um, but write a prayer. Somehow pray that pray that scripture. Because this is also a, a journal, and God is also your friend. If there's anything you'd like to just write down to say, all right, I, you want to tell God, hey, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, God, I, I'm excited about um, being in the musical. God, I, I'm excited that um, the Buccaneers lost their playoff game. God, I'm excited that... Um, friends are coming over this weekend you know what's what's going on in your life that you if, if you if god were your friend you say god i really want to tell you this right what are you going to write and tell god about what's going on in your life? And, and maybe it's it's one of those things that we talked about here maybe you're going through a transition maybe you've had some type of a loss um maybe you're anxious about something maybe you're angry about something you know, this is a great time to, to write, hey guys, just, I want to let you know, this is something I'm dealing with. And that's your journal, that's, that's your journal entry, all right? We did that in seven minutes, all right? So what I would like you to do um, is, is, over the next week, I really want to encourage you on, on a daily basis 
try try to do this. Um, either you know, put this in your car, put this in your on, on your nightstand, and either in the morning or at night, um, or put it in a place that you'll think of it, and and take time to read the passage, pick a verse, um, say why you chose that verse, pray and, and meditate on it, and maybe tomorrow keep this verse in your head. Right, keep this verse or, or find a new verse and think about it while you go about your day. All right. And maybe you're more of an artistic person. And so you're going to choose a verse. And instead of writing why you chose it, you're going to draw a picture of it. All right. Whatever you see in your head. So there's lots of different ways to journal and communicate with God. Um, but I think it's important to, to take some time every day to do that. Okay. Any questions about that? Right. For those of you that are here, just bring this back and just wave it in front of me and just, I, I did a little, I, I did it, all right? Um, I'm not going to read it, I'm not going to look at it, but bring it back completely next week. Um, for those of you that are, are home, um, if you if you are willing to share it with me, take a picture of it and you know, email or text it to me, um, that would be great, all right? Let's go ahead and close with a word of prayer. And um, we'll thank God for his word and ask for him to be with us as we pray and meditate on scripture. Right, will you pray with me? Gracious God, Heavenly Father, um, thank you for these students, for those that are here in person and those who are on Zoom um, and those who are watching this video later. We pray that you may be with each of them. Um, Lord, watch over them, protect them. Lord, thank you for being their good shepherd. May you guide them. Um, that even when, when tough things are happening, may, may you pull them through. Help us, Lord, in our every day to take time um, to talk to you, to hear your words for us, and to ponder and meditate on all of the wonderful promises that you give us. Most of all, that you loved us so much that you sent us Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for living, for dying, for rising again. Help us um, to, to, to always follow you. We pray this in Jesus' name and all God's people said, amen. All right. Thank you guys uh, for hopping on. We'll get going again next. I think we're starting, we're going to do a couple units on Lutheran worship. Why we worship you know, with the hymnals and the worship service that we do. We'll do those for the next two weeks. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Sure. Nice to meet you.